Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlada's Place. In today's video, we're gonna try to learn together how to make a fresh homemade tortillas. I'm going with this particular corn flour and I would suggest you try the same. Okay, so I'm going with the three cups of the corn flour and a half a cup of regular wheat flour and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Let's make a nice little bed for the buffer water and then we're going to start with adding two cold water. This is the first cup. Next is incorporating water and flour to create a perfect texture for tortilla dough. If you take a closer look, you can see it's nice and soft. So uh, there are instructions on the flour uh, uh, regarding the amount of water versus the flour. In my case, uh, you saw I added about a half a cup of regular flour and a little bit of baking soda and because of that I also needed to add a little bit extra water. But you are aiming for the, this thickness. It's almost uh, like a cookie dough, a bit thicker, but nice and soft and, and moist. So this way we will be able to form it into tortillas will be easy to form and shape. Another suggestion is to work the dough really well with your hands. Once it's done, set the dough aside to rest and now we're going to move on to our salsa. If you're following our YouTube channel, you probably already saw this recipe posted yesterday. For those of you who are new to our channel, just check out the video prior to this one and you will be able to find the recipe for our sweet pineapple salsa. We're moving ahead and now we're just gonna cut the dough into small portions. This is a great little project and a wonderful opportunity to involve your children in cooking. If you are a beginner at making homemade tortillas, you probably don't have a tortilla press. That's not a problem because you can do a great job by using two cutting boards and press the dough in between like Mikhail is doing here. All right, let's see what they look like. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, the thickness is okay, but I think they could have been even uh, thinner. But for now, for the first try, I think this is pretty good. It is hot in here. Anyway, but if you are serious about the good tacos like I am, then you should invest into buying a little gadget, a gadget like this. So basically, um, this just helps you with adding pressure onto the dough and helping you shape it. So if you're going to come closer just to see it, you make a small ball. I put the parchment paper on the bottom and on the top, flip it over, and then just add the pressure and the dough will form into a perfect shape. Look at that. I made a fraction of the effort and the tortilla looks perfect. Now we're rolling. This is looking really good. And so we're just going to uh, grill them on both sides. And this is obviously much, much easier and so much better with that little press. So, okay, just cook them a little bit on both sides. As you see, the press also makes them nice and thin. Oops. Watch out. Which makes them cook faster. And obviously, it's, it's better because you don't want to have too much dough under your taco. All right, they're almost done. We're going to start serving. So here we go. Mickey, give, it, give me the plate, honey. This was our second attempt to make homemade tortillas and kids absolutely loved them but I think we can make them even better. Like with everything in life, being good at anything takes practice. And this is, as I said, the second attempt to make tortilla, and I think they're plenty good, but I have tasted better. And with that in mind, I will continue my pursuit in finding the better way to make amazing homemade tortillas. I've been baking bread since 10 years old, but this is a whole new turf for me. So with that in mind, for all of you who have been making tortillas all your life or you have seen your grandmothers do it, please send me your suggestions and let me know what we're doing wrong and how we could improve this recipe. 
For now, kids and I are so thankful to have this amazing meal for dinner. Our kitchen was filled with excitement and we had so much fun creating these homemade tortillas together. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today and for watching this video. My name is Vlada Vladik and I'm a founder of a charitable organization called Vlada Seeds of Life, whose mission is to help reconnect American families and communities. I'm a firm believer that a homemade meal and a quality family time in our homes is one of the most important things that we can give to our next generation. With that in mind, please check out our website and our initiative to reconnect families and communities in America and also keep an eye on our cooking and kids television program currently airing in over 250 public access television stations nationwide. Thank you. We hope you will subscribe and send us your likes. Till the next time, please take good care of yourself and those around you.